GST 101, Use of English 1, Module 9, Recommended Test GST 101 Textbook, Namdazikiwe University Waka, School of General Studies. Module 9, Topic Understanding Prose as an Aspect of Literature. Understanding Prose as an Aspect of Literature by Dr. Nyachulam Sivanos. Introduction Literature is virtually engaged with the conditions and situations of the people and it is concrete rather than abstract and displays life in all its virusness. Now what am I saying? Literature, uh, 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 we are involved in every aspect of our life. Literature uh, uh, is involved in our everyday life. You are literature and literature is you. You cannot just do without literature. Uh, you are talking, you are moving, you are chatting, you are playing. Everything has to do with literature. So, very, very important. One, uh, from there, one can ask, what is literature? He said that literature is an imaginative story, which is a form of creative art. First of all, the biology textbooks you are reading, they are all literature. The newspaper, chemistry textbooks, everything you have been reading, they are all literature. But we are now concentrating on literature as an imaginative story, which is a form of creative art. And then what is creative art? Creative art is defined as a form of expressive art that employs words as the principal tools in detailing events, actions and experiences that mirror reality. And then from mirror reality, we can say that the literature is the mirror of the society. How? Mit literature mirrors the ills in the society and what is the essence of mirroring the society to correct the ills very very important that is what literature is all about then we have three genres of literature we have the prose we have the drama we have the poetry remember these are the three genres of literature poetry has to do with literature expressed in verse it has some verse. It is mostly written in verse. Poetry. Drama is literature expressed in dialogue. It is involved with some character that you dialogue with. You say, I respond. Like the Nigerian movies, Hollywood, Nollywood, all these things. You watch them. They are part of drama. It is called literature expressed in dialogue. Then when you talk of prose, which seems to be the center of our topic, Literature expressed in direct language. Prose. We talk of prose. Prose is a long narrative essay. Like all the novels you have been reading. All these big, big long, uh, uh, long essays you have been reading. They are, all, they are called prose. So it is expressed in direct language. From uh, when you gather it together. From sentence to paragraph from paragraph to chapter and the chapters and it becomes uh, a long narrative essay. So that is literature. Then we have functions of literature. Literature is very educative. It educates. When you read, it educates you. It entertains you. At times when you, uh, very, uh, you need entertainment, you just read. There are some novels uh, you will read you start uh, that it will be entertaining you. It is for realization. We have made mention of correction of ills in the society. These are some of the functions of literature for correction of ills in the society. It brings out the people's culture. When you read some of uh, 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 the novels, you see the culture. In many of the novels, when you read them, you will see the culture of the people. For example, when you read Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe, yeah, he was more of realistic than idealistic. He's a realistic writer. He brought out the culture of our people. You see traditional marriage and things fall apart. Planting. The season of planting. You see it there. Masquerade. When Amelinze, when we come to you, Amelinze the kite in a wrestling uh, contest, you can see that these are some of the cultures of our people. Even it, 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 it Achebe showed us that uh, killing of twins in the olden days was not a taboo. 
before the coming of the wife. So uh, Achebe was so realistic to showcase to us some of the cultures of our people. So it's, these are some of the functions of literature. Then we have kinds of prose. We have the descriptive prose. It describes, when you talk of describe, it describes everything. It describes the events and actions of a given story or information. It, it must be sequential in arrangement. The, action, the actions of the characters, their physical appearance, it must follow sequentially in order to get what it's called descriptive, in order to get that descriptive prose. Very, very important. Expository, when you talk of expository, the writer hides nothing. He exposes every aspect, every aspect of the character, both the negative and the good, the bad of the character, the facts and the ideas he exposes to the reader so that uh, 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 the reader will be able to comprehend about the life of an individual, an institution, or worldviews centering on the culture or the ideas of what you are reading, the narrative prose. It involves telling stories. Events are narrated in the order they occur in the story to avoid confusion. You have to narrate from what happened in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. You don't just start from what happened in the evening. You narrate it accordingly. Very, very important. Then argumentative prose. This is very important. If you're a writer and you want to engage in argumentative prose, listen, you must be broad enough to have the, uh, the, the mind to convince your readers. You have to convince them to join you. You have to convince them to agree with you. You have to convince your readers or your audience to agree with you. So you must have the power, uh, the intellectual, uh, you must be intellectually uh, motivated to convince the readers to accept a given idea or opinion. For them to agree with you, you must be intellectually motivated. Dramatic prose. Then you read more, it has to do with more of drama in the prose. Very, very important, emotional. It creates emotional feelings, either positive or negative. Either positive or negative. It could be feeling of love, hatred, joy, or sorrow. For example, when you watch Nigerian movies, after watching Patience or Zorqua, you may even develop hatred for that woman, saying that she is wicked. She is not. She is not, according to people. She is not. But because of the role she has been uh, playing, maybe as a mother-in-law, maltreating the, the daughter-in-law, you just develop hatred because you have a kind of strong emotional feeling which is of negative. But all the same, in emotional prose, it arouses strong feelings. Very, very important. Informative prose. Informative prose, it has to do with more of journals, newspapers and textbooks that gives you uh, the, it is more of educative to inform the readers on an existing idea, subject or object of discussion. So it has be, to be informative and detailed. Then we talk, there are uh, two categories of non-fictions. We have the fiction, the non-fiction. We have the fictions and non-fictions. The uh, ones, things that you think that they happen and things that do not happen, imaginative and non-imaginative. So, but there are two categories of non-fictions. Yeah. We have the autobiography and we have the biography. What is autobiography? Autobiography is the life history of you written by yourself. Autobiography, your life history written by yourself. No one wrote it for you. You are the one that wrote it. Then when you talk of biography, biography is the one written by others. Especially you can see it during burials, in the program, the family of the disease. They will write the biography of the dead man. So, it is always written by others, and it is called biography. Then there are three major aspects of fictions. We have the short story. We have the novel and the, or novelette. We have the novel. Novel is always, always long, with more characters in them. Novel is always long, with more characters. Short story, few characters. Novella is very, is in between the short story and the novel. Very, very important. We have the elements of fiction. We have the plot. Plot has to, uh, has to do with the sequential arrangement of the work of art. You must arrange work sequentially so that whoever that is looking at it will understand it. We have the character. The character has to do with the personalities that causes events to take place. Then when you talk of characterization, you talk of the events. 
you talk of uh, 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 what they dish out, certain has to do with the ge ge geographical location, time of the event, place, where the event took place. When you talk of subject matter stroke team, it has to do with the, uh, the central idea, the ideas, the central ideas brought out in that literary works. When you talk of style, what style did the writer use in bringing or showcasing his work? Did he use simple style so that you, even somebody in secondary school can comprehend and understand? Point of view, when you talk of point of view, the narrator, the person narrating the story, from which angle is he or she coming from? This has to do with the point of view. In conclusion, as we move in the journey of life, every aspect of our life and culture are dear literature, and we need to be careful to avoid mockery. As we said earlier, that literature is the mirror of the society. And then the issue of mockery here, every aspect of our life is involved with literature. When your life is full of negativity, let me tell you, people will mock you. Let me, in conclusion, let me cite an example. Some few years ago, at Old Market Road, a young girl was moving. She dressed very nude, thinking that she is very beautiful. She was just half naked, moving. And people were just looking and watching. All of a sudden, a small boy appeared from nowhere and started following her. When the boy looked at her, she started following the girl at the back and started singing a song that says, When the, when the boy was singing, the girl discovered that this boy was referring to her. She took another direction. The boy followed her. She took another direction. The boy followed her. She took another direction. The boy followed her. And that is why we say that literature mirrors the society satirizes the evil. When it satirizes the evil, the essence of satirizing is, is to correct it. So therefore, in this manner, do not allow your life to be satirized in evil so that you will not be mocked. Thank you for listening. As you read the module 9, you will get more of it. Thank you and God bless you.